Okay, I've been asked to do a little tutorial on how to upload things to Second Life. Blender Mesh. This is my Blender Mesh. It's just a simple railing post. Now, in order to get it out of Blender, you go to File, Export, and choose Collider File. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then you find a place to send it. Give it a name, Railing Posts, as I've done. And you go down here on Operator Presets, you choose Second Life Static. Down here, you include Material Textures, if you have any. And down here, Export Second Life, tick that. And then press the export button and that's the model that's now been saved in a file location as a collider file. Next you need to upload a physics shape because the model itself is too complex for a second life simulator to display. So we open A simple cuboid that I made earlier, which is the same shape and size as the railing posts, and it's at the same coordinates in the location area. And then we do the same with this we export collider, find the place where we're going to export it. Choose second life static. No need to include material textures because you're on what the hell. Export plus second life. Press export. And that's the blender part done. Your model and your model's physics shape. Now what we do is we go to second life. a model. I stood in here. Railing posts. And it'll take a few moments for the second one to load into the preview window. There it is. My railing posts. Just click these to make it easier to see the details. Give it a name. Call it posts. Present a building component. Now that's on the level of detail tab. Now we go to the upload options tab and click include textures. Then we go to the physics tab and it's important to choose a level of detail so from file. Now this is where we browse to the physics shape is here. That's the railing post. This is the physics shape, so we select that and it appears on the preview screen. Then we hit Analyze to allow Second Life a chance to figure out what we're uploading. And then we go down here, Calculate Weights and Thieves. Give it a moment to calculate. Take a few seconds, depends on how busy second life is. There it is. Now the calculate button has changed to upload button, and it's telling me that it costs 34 million dollars to upload this, and its land impact will be the equivalent of 40 prims. So I just hit upload. Take a moment. And there we go. You 
hit 34 million dollars to upload your model. Done. And here it is in my inventory already. So I just drag it to the ground and it appears. And it's important to delete the original, then click on the build and go edit. Then in your build menu, go to features, change convex hole to prim, and then you can close that, and then you take your model back into your inventory. You always want to change it from convex hole to prim, or else your avatar might find itself walking through it as if it's a phantom. That's the model. You can see, and I can't walk through it because it's solid. It's not a convex hole anymore. It's now a um, prim. Now, in order to make sure that its physics shape is as simple as I want it, because the more complex the physics shape, the harder it is for the simulator to create the object, so you just want a simple physics shape. And to see what the physics shape looks like, you go into the develop menu, metadata, physics shapes. And that changes the view to show physics shapes, and then you can see the yellow physics shape around the railing shape. That means that whenever my avatar walks into my model, the physics shape will determine how how my avatar collides with it. If the physics shape was more detailed, just as detailed as the model, then it, then my avatar would probably be able to put his hands between the rails. But that would be too complex for Second Life, so that's why we use a simpler physics shape. Makes it easier for the second mode region to simulate the model. Anyway, I hope this helped. Just go into there and select that. And there you go, my very first spoken word tutorial. I hope it helped. <laughs>